Good afternoon, everybody. The participants, the parents, the friends, all the people cheering in the digital audience. Um, thank you very much. This has been a very interesting experience, and I think it's going to become more and more interesting as the afternoon progresses. Um, the, the, the digital communication should not um, be a hindrance at all, and I can definitely follow what you're all doing. And um, it's really, really wonderful to see such excellent preparation. Also, the, um, the very um, careful bowing at the end of each item, I think that that is very important. Um, so often in um, a, an Eisteddfod or music festival, um, candidates come up and they're terribly nervous and um, they have to be told to wait to start and then which builds up even more tension and then at the end they're so glad it's over they run off the stage without treating it like a, a proper musical performance. So this is actually an ideal opportunity to make the most of the situation and I think a lot of you have kind of intuitively cottoned on to that. So thank you very much. I see these things and it's much much appreciated. Also um, that the 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 way the camera is positioned on the player, that the stand is never in the way. That is so important. So that, especially for wind players or any instrument, so that one can see posture, um, the fingers, very important thing. So thank you for taking care with that. That's to the teachers and the accompanists. Uh, just a couple of things to go through. I'm not going to dwell on every example. Um, Even though you do not have an audience in front of you, yes, of course, you have this one take to do the recording. I presume that was the agreement, there's one take. Um, breath control can sometimes suffer a little bit with, with nerves. Um, so it's always an important thing, and it is so apparent on the recorder to not have more breath than you need. Not less breath than you need, not more breath, just enough, and that is an art. One has to really work very hard at getting, at being economical with your breath and to be able to support clearly for the intonation till the end of the phrase. So in some of the early, the younger players, that is something which will still develop. It's definitely on its way, but it's something that you hear and you, you kind of um, take it as, as, as part of the learning process. And the more advanced players, it was definitely already much, much, much better. Um, I, I haven't often written comments about choice of tempo, other than that I thought that the choice of tempo was a good one, and um, that the, 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 the rhythmical and metrical approach was um, secure. In most cases, I was very pleased with that. But there are some things which sometimes can be affected by a different choice of tempo. And I think this is also a learning situation. I'll just give a few examples. Um, in the last example that we heard, while it's still fresh in my mind, if I can just quickly go back to it. Um, the title of the song is called, I Leave You in Sadness. Um, it is a traditional song, so it's a folk song. Um, doesn't mean to say that um, something which has a sad title has, always has to be played in a sad or slow tempo. Um, and indeed, very often, the opposite happens. A song with a sad title can be played in a very fast and sort of dance-like manner, and in contrast to when it would be sung where the words are there. And I would suggest an example like this, maybe try and find some words that, that would suggest the title. And it might just give a slightly more lyrical take on the phrasing. So I have two versions, one which is like a dance, very sprightly, very clear, very crisp articulation. And then one as if you were singing a song which was telling the story of I leave you in sadness. Um, it, it's very good to be, you know, experiment, experiment a bit with these pieces. They don't always have to be done just in one way. Of course, time permitting, we all know that's a problem. Um, while still on tempo, um, if you can remember, there was a jig that was played, a Corelli jig. Um, 
when people hear a jig is going to be played, oh, they think it has to be incredibly fast. I thought the tempo of this jig was actually a very good choice. Jigs do not always have to be sort of at breakneck speed. There are slow jigs and there are fast jigs and there are moderate jigs. In fact, the French had a lure, which was um, a slow jig. And um, I think I think there was also in Italy a, 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 a fairly slow jig as well. The, we have the idea of a very fast jig from the Irish jig and the English jigs, um, especially when they have um, slightly unusual time signatures like a compound triple um, in a fast tempo. It's very exciting. But just remember that the choice of, it, of, of the jig tempo does not always have to be very fast. And I thought it was a very good tempo for the candidate that played, for the participant that played the comedy jig. Um, uh, not that I want to say at last, but uh, the, the accompaniments, thank you very much. It's so important to have good, secure accompaniment um, for, your, for your rendition of a piece. Um, if you are able to work well with your accompanist, it just, it, 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 it puts everything in a different class. Very, very good. And um, I know I was with a single out one piece, the San Martini, the concerto, the Siciliano. Um, Sicilianas can be a little bit quicker, but there's so much musical content in this this uh, this particular Siciliana that I think the tempo choice was actually absolutely appropriate. It, it was fine. But go and see if you can now start learning about Neapolitan sixths, because this piece is full of them, and it's an ideal piece to learn the expressive qualities of that particular chord, the Neapolitan sixths, and the Italians, and particularly the Neapolitans, were just so good at that. So thank you. I've really enjoyed listening and I look forward very much to the rest of the afternoon. Thank you very much.